My name is Andy Lee. I work with Qualcomm. And then from this booth, I'm presenting three imaging solutions with our Snapdragon 805 processor. First, I'm presenting our technology named UV Focus. This is based on Snapdragon processor hardware, multi-burst capture, and then processing on running on the Neon processor. So we are taking five burst shot, five continuous shot on the same scene. And then when we take each capture, when we take each capture, we are moving focus lens at the specific position. That means we are creating this kind of depth map. So each different five color is representing five different lens position. And then when capture is done, we are making this all focused image. So close distance, far distance, any distance has all focused. After this capture is done, based on the other end user's preference, they can change range position. I mean focus position like this. Close focus, far focus, even mid focus. And what the hell, let's have everything focused. So this solution can be learned any smartphone which is existing already. That means no extra hardware is required. That means from the manufacturer point of view, no additional cost to build this solution on their platform. Next solution I can present here is Chroma Flash. This is also based on our Snapdragon processor, multi-capture, and then processing. So this is one example. This is the final alpha from our Chroma Flash solution. Let's say we are at the other the fancy restaurant with some people. Usually, usually when people is in their dark situation to take the snapshot, fresh is being used. But with fresh, this is the image we usually get. Fresh fire. Fresh is firing with high color temperature, which is a little bit bluish. So the object is turned into bluish color. And because flash is fired, all the background information is very hard to see. With our flash being fired, we can see all the background and all the scene. But in general, the overall brightness is pretty dark. So when we run our chroma flash, we are taking two pictures continuously on the same scene. One picture with flash on, another picture is without flash. So we are fusing these two input images to grab right, right information, right color information, and then our solution is making this final output. So as you see, overall brightness and then color is more natural. And then you can even see some background scene. Another good example from Chroma Fresh is this kind of the other text information. This is final output. Again, okay. to have this final output created, we are taking one image with flash. But this is the usual situation with, Chrome, with flash. It is too bright. And then this is white background. So the texture, text, text information is almost washed out. Without flash, yeah, we can read the text, but in general, it's dark. So when our algorithm is fusing these two inputs, our algorithm is trying the best to save the text information in the scene. That's why at the, as a final output, we can have all this information even this text information together. Okay, last one. This is kind of the super resolution technology. So example is, I take some picture on the World Web. 
now I want to see this small area only. What people usually do is zoom in. Zoom in again. Zoom in again. Zoom in again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. But this is maximum. What we are doing here is crop small area, blow up. Another crop, blow up. Keep cropping, keep blowing up. But we never change actual number of the pixel in this small area. That's why we still have very limited pixel in this small area and then we cannot that much visible on this one. By applying our super resolution technology, we actually increase the number of the pixel in this same small area four times. So the result is like this. You can see more information because you have more number of the pixel. Again, okay? it's four times bigger. So comparison is like this and like this. So all of these three solutions, UV Focus, Chroma Flash, OptiZoom, is purely running on the other CPU, which is software solution. And from the manufacturer point of view, no additional hardware required. That means no additional cost. I'm pretty sure this will enable better user experience and then better, better, <coughs> better application possibility from the other end user point of view.